guys, my name is Shriya and welcome to my channel Beauty and the Coat. So you guys must be wondering why I have not put on any foundation or makeup or anything of that sort. The reason being that I am going to review the pack precision blender which is the makeup sponge so i thought of doing the makeup with you guys and test and try this product uh, this is a, such a hyped up makeup sponge from pack and that was the reason that i really wanted to try it with you guys on camera this is like a fresh piece i have not opened it yet and i have not used pack makeup blenders uh, earlier so I really don't know how they perform uh, so this is the pack of uh, precision blender and uh, this is a nanopore technology and this has like a rounded flat top surface on one side and the pointy edge on the other and it's just perfect for contouring cheek and nose uh, it has smooth curved surfaces and all of that and it is crafted for hard to reach areas like eyes nose and mouth uh, this one is priced uh, for 585 rupees uh, and you can get this at pack store you can also get it at amazon and you can also get it at nika i'll leave uh, all the links to purchase this in the description box below uh, so that you can check it out so let's open this up so i've opened this up and this is how uh, the makeup sponge looks like or the precision blender let's just call it makeup sponge uh, so this is how it looks like it's a bright red color sponge it feels quite soft to touch and it has this like flat surface on one side and pointy edge on the other and also if you can see closely uh, then pack is embedded on it over here right over here uh, so it has those details about the brand also. So this is the current size of it. Let's uh, just measure it how how much it is. Uh, so it's like half of my palm size. Okay. So let's just wet this and see how big or enlarged it gets. So I'll just wet this and I'll be back. So this is the size of it after I have wet it. So this is how it is. It's almost like covering my palm now. Uh, so that's how big it has grown uh, so what I'm going to do is for the demo half of my face I'm going to do it with the pack uh, blender and half of my face I want to do it with a brush to see how much product this absorbs uh, so let's try that uh, I'll use uh, this foundation from Maybelline which is a super stay 24 hour full coverage foundation uh, I have a lot of blemish marks currently. I'm struggling with my skin. Uh, by the way, the shade that I'm in is 310 Sun Beige. So I'm just going to take one pump of this, this much. And first I'll dot this half of my face and I'll use sponge on this half. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, I'm going to use this now to start blending the product. So it feels very very soft and it's blending the product quite well. So the pointy edge is really easy like it's really helping me to you know get near my eye and just blend the product over there. Okay, so this half is done with the sponge. The sponge feels so soft and it's so squishy. It's so easy to use. And also this is the amount of product that it has sucked in. Not too much, uh, but not too significant, I'll say. Uh, but yes, it has like uh, sucked up some of the product. Uh, so on the other half, let's try with brush and see if the coverage is better this side. So this side I'll be using my Real Technique buffing brush. This is my favorite brush because um, it's a, such a nice uh, dense brush uh, and the bristles uh, are just so amazing. Uh, this brush is almost like the one that I go for on every single day. 
Okay, so I have blended foundation on this side as well with the Real Technique brush and this side it's with pack. Uh, I'm just going to compare and see if uh, the coverage this side is better or this side is better to see how much product this has sucked up. So this side it has definitely taken up some of the product but I'll not say that it is a significant uh, you know not ma majority of the product is sucked in some of it obviously makeup sponge does suck in some of the product uh, but I think I really like the finish because there are no marks in this side I can still see some of the streak marks from the brush which is again very obvious uh, so the best way uh, you know to uh, get over those streak marks is obviously going it uh, over with a blender like this uh, but I'm like quite happy with the way this has like blended uh, the foundation on my face uh, I'll be just finishing off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back uh, so I thought that let me just use this even for powder so I'm just going to take some of the banana powder from makeup revolution and I am just using this tip portion to fill in with some product dust off some of the extra and then I'll be just going with it so I'm kind of baking my face with this blender and you can see that this tip is really helpful in kind of giving a precision like so I'm really impressed with the way this uh, uh, you know blender can be used for foundation and even for contouring and even for like setting your powder for baking specifically uh, this tip is really helpful in reaching that corner of your eye which uh, is very difficult to reach with a brush uh, so that's good for that. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, I'm back with my final makeup. I am very impressed with the way this has worked. Let's talk about the pros and the cons for this product to conclude this video. So the pros, the first thing that I would like to mention is that this is very squishy and soft. Uh, and that just makes it very porous and nice and it's very 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 soft on the skin it does not hurt the skin when you tap this on your face it just feels so nice and therapeutic uh, so that's the first thing that I like about this product second is the shape it is quite ergonomically shaped you have a flat surface which helps in you know tapping the product on your face and then you have a pointy edge which helps which helps in reaching those corners uh, the third thing that i like about this product is it's a multi-purpose thing like you can use it for blending your foundation you can use it for blending your powder and you can also set your face completely with this one also this can be used for contouring which is a good thing um, now the fourth thing that i like like about this is that the quality of this is really really good it's soft it feels very high end to touch and this is like very 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 good quality stuff so I really like this about that now coming to the cons the price point of it this one is almost for 600 rupees 585 which is a lot for a makeup sponge um, honestly if you're someone who uses foundation on everyday basis then buying this one makes sense but if you're someone who is like a one-time user or just an occasional user keep us party to lagalia foundation most of the days you don't and then i think <laughs> this is not such a good option to go for uh, the second con that I could think of is that it does soak in some product but that is done with every other makeup sponge that you'll use this one still like absorbs less of the product but you can see this is the amount of product that this has sucked in uh, so if you are someone who uh, does not want to waste your product even a single bit then go for brushes don't go for a makeup sponge altogether be it this one be it any other sponge uh, but it does blend the foundation and everything the base products really really well and of course the third con will be cleaning this yeah it has sucked in so much product and i am someone who has oily and acne prone skin so i definitely have to go back and clean this wash this and keep it ready for the next day uh, so that's a pain of using a makeup sponge 
that is applicable for all sponges and this is no exception so guys that's it for today's video those were my final thoughts about this product i really really liked it and i will definitely recommend you to get this one if your budget allows you to of course uh, if you're looking for some affordable options then probably you should try something in miniso because the makeup uh, sponges over there are decent enough they soak in a little more product than this one uh, but it's still workable uh, so if you don't have the budget like investing 600 in this then go for that otherwise if you're ready to invest uh, 600 rupees in a makeup sponge this is a very good option to try i will highly recommend you to get this one so yeah guys that's it for today i hope you that you enjoyed watching this video and this review was helpful for you guys follow me on instagram i leave the instagram handle right here on the screen for you to check out please follow me there please support and of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification right next to it so that you'll be notified of all of my future uploads thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you very soon in my next video bye